Hello, my friends. Welcome to my, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Jacinda Key, and just vlogging. We're vlogging here, but um, thinking about how to how to self actualize, how to you know believe in yourself, how to make your dreams come true, how to make them a reality, how to freaking master. <laughs> yourself <laughs> your life and um and all that comes with that because I'm definitely like a work in progress and I just talk about like where I'm at what's going on and you know I started all this and then I left my job uh, two months ago and I feel like I've just been having a hard time even just like wanting to make videos and I think it's just all such a this thing of like going for the things you want to do because you know I've had some people like I can tell they're just like what are you doing and you know like people there's all this doubt and and I I believe I mean I'm saying like I want to make I want to help people believe in themselves so like I have to believe in myself you know and like it just was really like that question like do you believe in yourself <laughs> do you and i think and then all of this like imperfection stuff comes up so you're like but i'm not here and i'm not there i'm not i have a van full of stuff and i'm in transition and i'm moving and i'm trying to figure it all out and i'll i'll start making videos again when i'm down the road at some point but like that's not that I could keep telling myself that because there's like I feel like that's like some perfectionist talk there like I have to get somewhere I'm not enough as I am and where I'm at and but but this is this is living it's not always perfect you know or like I don't know like, you know I'm not like we're building something and I, I decided I had gotten somewhere I was not satisfied and now took that down and there's there's a takedown and a growing a going up the mountain so yeah and I just I feel like I also I want to promote Marie Kondo because I use her method for for like decluttering before I packed and and I basically ended up like really taking some time to like focus on like all of the things I have which was really it was kind of it was difficult because I I wanted to just kind of leave or like get out of the house and like go see people and go do things and like it was just it was almost like irritating at one point like stuff I was just like why do I have all this stuff but it's like, why do I have all this stuff if I can't, if I don't have the time to even like look at it? Um, what is it doing here? So, and, and and then I also just got to see my patterns of how I would like avoid. Like I would get, I would start in a room, and I would and I would get to a point where then I would like um, be undecisive about something and so then I would go to the next room and start working till I got undecisive about something and I just kind of like kept avoiding things that were like not easy and until I said like no <laughs> you're staying and dealing with this until it's done like I felt like it just was lingering so yeah for productivity I think even when you feel like it's slowing you down, like it's better just to work through that, whatever that, you know, not easy answer is. And I've also just been noticing like for undecisiveness, like I can't, um, or I, I've just struggled with that for a long, for a long time. Just like would just kind of be in this in between space and you know, even buying the, the, the van and everything was like back and forth, back and forth. But then I, but once I started making decisions, it just helps me. It's just like, okay, like 
it's it's not there's not really you can't really go wrong it's just more information for you like finding out what is what is more in line with you so maybe it's a little less in line or maybe more in line but either way it's it's information and that's always good and I do I feel like the more I've been doing that the better I've been getting at making decisions and um so yeah so that's where we're at so Fridays just playing fast and loose I just I drove I packed up this van I took I had a two bedroom condo two bath and reduced it down just got to see what what was important to me what I wanted to focus on what what I what I wanted to let go sides and parts of me that I wanted to let go of and then I've just been like thanking every freaking thing that I that I have because it is mine it is mine as part of my life and it really made me like connect with like my reality instead of being like in the future or in the past it was just like be happy like even like cleaning like I like usually I would be like oh I have to clean but then I was like cleaning the bathtub I'm like this is the bathtub that bathed me <laughs> you know I spent time in here and you know I was like yeah I paid a lot of rent and it just kind of instead of like getting this like unappreciative talk going which isn't helpful you know just brings your vibe down I just really was like you know these walls so much has happened within these walls like and the good and the bad and the ugly and the beautiful <laughs> like it was just like it's like all of it and that's that's my life so not to just walk out and not appreciate it um yeah and then what else do I want to say yeah I was just wanting to make sure it all fit in here it was kind of interesting to see how it all played out but I got in and it fit and then it's like what now <laughs> like, you know I know where I'm going like I know I, I have a place to go. we're going to Phoenix um in this van we're just we're just trying to make our way over to Phoenix and this is big so this year you know like confidence is like top of the list goal but also like sticking to my original goal which was making youtube videos and not you know my brain i noticed that with the packing too it's like i am a person that it's going like i keep adding stuff to my life as far as like stud like i'm interested in so many things and i just start them and then i don't finish so that's the other thing it's like sticking to something seeing it through so I just wanted to say that that like whatever I think that's what I think that's what it is it's just really just like we all have things that we aren't great at and instead of like looking the other way or blaming someone else it's just it's good I think spending time alone is a good way to like see yourself and um so you can correct it or like at least work on it I think it's just being honest like I think as long as like we take that emotion away of like you're bad or you're it, it's just like we all have these sides of us I mean every single one and I think it's gonna be it would be harder to not um Like just like either ignore it or or just not accept it, you know. But once you accept it, then it's like then you can just you can start moving through it. But but otherwise, you're just kind of it's kind of like you're only want you're only showing some sides, right? So yeah, I think that's why I'm just like I'm I'm not in my bed I'm not feeling my best and it's dark now and like oh yeah anyways that's what I wanted to say let's accept our reality 
accept ourselves because we're not perfect or we're perfectly imperfect and 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 that's enough it's enough and we can have goals but we're enough right now okay i think that's all i'm going to say for today let me get this out peace love i hope everyone i hope you're having a wonderful start of the year and much love fit.